Good morning Floss Tube. Today is Saturday, May the 13th and the whip that I'd like to show you today is Elizabeth Creasy. Um, this, look at that, I'll give you a bit of a closer up look. This is a band sampler. I started this in maybe 2009. Um, everything past here is white work. Um, so yeah, there's a lot of detail in this, a lot of work. I haven't done much, I'll show you in a moment. Um, I started this in, I think, 2009 or maybe 2010. Um, it's an online class on the S Sampler. I'll put a link below. I don't know if this is still available. Um, uh, it might be, I'm not sure. Um, you're certainly able to find out if you go to the website. Oh no, see, I started it on June the 1st, 2010. So it came in parts. Um, I got the full kit at the beginning with all the lovely luscious silks. Gosh, look at that mess there. <laughs> um, luscious silks and all of this white thread is, it's not silk actually, it's linen thread and that's for all the white work at the bottom. These are Soie de Paris, these are Soie d'Alger, this is, what's this one? Soie Oval? I don't know. <laughs> Um, and this weird one as well at the end, it's called Bijou or something, it's like a, it's like a ribbon, I don't know. Anyway, interesting stuff. I haven't done much of this, I'll show you what I've done. Ta-da! <laughs> um, yeah, so I've done one row of Montenegrin stitch at the top, one row of, um, I think it's reversible cross stitch for the words. And then I'm working on the second row of Montenegrin stitch. Um, the, the verse, let me read you the verse. The verse says, uh, Look well to that thou takest in hand, it's better worth than house or land. When land is gone and money is spent, the learning is then learning is most excellent. And then at the bottom it says, Let virtue be thy guide and it will keep thee out of pride. So yeah, um, the first part is basically this. Um, which is the carnation band at the top. So the part, oh, well, this is what it, it will look like when it's finished. I think the second part is filling in all the Montenegrin stitch. So all of this you can see, this is all Montenegrin stitch. Oh, except for a little bit of back stitch filling. Um, a Montenegrin stitch is a really interesting beast. If you don't know about Montenegrin stitch, there's actually a whole book. Um, my mum has this book and I unfortunately don't have a copy. Um, called The Autopsy of the Montenegrin Stitch. The website I'm looking at is Mary Corbett's blog. I've shown you this before because I love this blog. Um, and this book tells you all about this stitch and it's a really interesting stitch. It looks like this. Um, and the interesting thing about this stitch is that when you are going from this direction to this direction to this direction, every time you turn a corner, there's a very specific way in which you are supposed to um, do each leg of the stitch. Um, for example, if you're coming up here and going this way, it's very different to if you're coming up here and going this way. Um, so this book shows you exactly what order to do each leg of the stitch in as you're going for each direction, um, as you're turning each corner. Um, so it's a really useful book. Unfortunately, I don't have it here, so I don't think I'll be doing much of this section today. But I do have this chart here that will show me how to do this large section here. Um, so I should be able to do some of the Montenegrin stitch today and I only have one day to work on it so I'm not going to get too ambitious. So I'll finish off this row of Montenegrin stitch that I'm working on and then I will just do these these large green parts. Um, yeah, so that's what I'm working on today. This is 56 count green linen, sorry, cream linen. Um, you can't really tell. Um, and I'm currently working over three. The first few bands of this until you get to the white work are stitched over three on the 56 count linen or 55 count. I can't remember which. Um, not that anyone would really be able to tell the difference, I'm sure. Um, here is a bit of a closer up picture of the original. I don't have a good picture of the entire thing, how it will look when it's finished. Look at that white work. Oh my gosh. It's going to be lovely. Um, and here is a much closer look of the first band when it's all finished. There we go. That's a bit better focused. Yep, so this is Elizabeth Creasy um, from the S Sampler. There will be links below to where you can get this from if you're interested. It's pretty pricey, but... And there's a whole lot of work. I mean, this is all I've done. 
and it's very long. There's a lot of a lot of linen rolled up there at the bottom. Okay, if you're interested, look in the links, look in the doobly-doo below for links, and I'll see you tomorrow. Have a great stitchy day. Bye-bye.